Welcome to Robin Hood Shaving Artisans and today uh, we're going to show you how to shave with this Marvel razor here and I'm using a second use feather blade in here so this is going to be a challenge. They say this is an aggressive razor anyway and so is the uh, razor blade. So we're going to give it a shot and just see how dangerous it is. The soap I'm The soap I'm going to use today is going to be the Perazzo Red. I've used that before but it's been some time so I thought let's give it a shot today and see how it works with this blade. I'm not going to use a pre-shave today so let's uh, get going here. Before I do though, let me uh, show you. I'm going to use a, this is a 24 mil Yaki brush. It's a, looks like a, it's a synthetic but it looks like a tuxedo brush almost. So I got this soaking in the water and now we'll begin right away. Uh, it's been about oh, three, four days since my last shave. So we're going to see how we do today. I shaved with this uh, marble razor by fine the other day and I really liked it. And I said, you know what, let's try it with a more aggressive razor and see what happens. I'm going to mix it right in a bowl here. If I stop banging things around, I'll shake most of the water out. We can always add more water later. Let's see how we do here. You can always take a piece of this soap out and put it in a bowl if you wanted to. I haven't had a little bit of touch water yet. kind of cold out today. I've been thinking about this razor more and more and I say you know what I know it's just been a couple days since I shaved with it but we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see how this does here. Now yeah, we'll work with what we got here. I heard the other day that uh, Apple got computer got caught with their iPhones of on the older versions what they've been doing was to uh, change the uh, give an update which are actually modify the battery settings I could be wrong and then they would uh, not last as long people would say gee my battery doesn't work anymore since you couldn't change the battery you had to get a new phone Clever, huh? It's called built-in built obsolescence. You know, and the same thing you'll find with the uh, most of the razors you go in a drug drugstore, the big box stores, you'll see the same thing. Those cartridge razors, every year they're coming out with a new model. Built-in obsolescence, that's the way they make money. But you know what? When, what we shave with here, these, these things will last, I pass them on. I mean, I got one razor that goes back to 1921. And it still shaves as good today as it did back then. So there's really no obsolescence. Maybe the razor blades, but even some of the razor blades have been out for years. All right. Enough of that. Let's see. Uh, let's set that off to the side. All right. Let's warm the razor up. I'm curious to really see how this is going to work. Here we go. Here goes nothing. We'll just take a real easy. I have to puff, puff my cheeks out to get over the wrinkles. My experience is that if you uh, use a razor blade that, or a razor that's really aggressive, after the second pass, a lot of times you can just quit because it takes so much off. Okay. 
Nice. I can feel a blade. Just taking my time. I don't want to rush it. I can feel the aggressiveness of that combination. There is a little bit of an overhang here. I was just being real cautious. Not much. Not bad for the first pass. Let's see how we do on the second one. I think I got enough shaving soap in the brush. I could put some more on there, I guess. But I want to see what we can do with this. How do I get that on my shirt? This soap is uh, really nice. They have uh, know, three or four different kinds. I've got them all the white, this, uh, the red one, and also a green one, and I like them all. I think the white one was the first one I got. All right, we're gonna go across the grain now. Again, this is second use of a feather blade, sharpest blade in the world, so they say. Didn't get a little nick right there, not bad though. And up here. soap on it. You have to be, uh, be able to adjust this as you go along here. All right, let's set that right there. You don't want to go too heavy with this combination of razor and blade. Almost putting no pressure on it at all. Felt like I cut myself there. Cut myself there. All right. 
one more pass and we'll see how we uh, wind up. Probably could quit right now, except down here I need a little touch up. But I want to be fair and give it three passes and see how we do. All right. I hardly ever cut. I don't think you guys have seen me cut my neck once or nick it. I have no idea how, why, how that happened, but it does. A couple times, look at that. Wow. Okay. Now we're going to go upwards. I've never cut myself or nicked myself in the neck before. Now you can see all the little, the micro nicks coming out. Usually those will come out the next day. Wow. Have to use a stepped pencil on that. This isn't too bad. I'm not going to have to go over this too much more. Okay. I'll tell you one thing you don't want to press too much on this blade at all. Look at that neck. And for that, I'm going to use the Allen block. Well, this is an experiment to see how it would do. Get the Allen block out. Wow. Yeah, I can, it stings a little over those areas. I can tell you it was real close. Usually this will stop it. These weren't really bad nicks or just hairline jobbies. Okay. Let's set that off to the side. And I got a Use some thayers, uh, witch hazel. I'm going to use a lavender. It's an astringent, so we'll put this on. Maybe it'll help stop the bleeding. Okay. Sh the uh, aftershave I'm going to use is a platinum aftershave by Fine Company. It kind of matches the razor. get that that'll be taken care of then the after shave balm I'm going to use a Pacific uh, caffeinated after shave balm I like this it really feels good it's uh, they have a, two different sizes now the small size and they get a the bigger size May have to use a steptic pencil on that. So we're going to grab that right now. This is just some of the gear you need to have when you're you're wet shaving. There we go. Get a little water on that. I'm going to grab a tissue here and get some of this off here. Well, I've never done this like this. I think it's because of that combination 
Well, I wonder what it be, would be like if I use it for the first time. Okay. Wow. Okay. All in all, needless to say, it was a close, very close shave. Yeah, it's got some. I love the razor, I love the blade, but I don't think I'll use them together the same way again. Unless I had a, uh, maybe about a week's growth of, of hair on, or whiskers on there. So, let me recap again. I used the Thayer's uh, Lavender Witch Hazel, the Fine Platinum Soap, or Soap, Aftershave Lotion. The Aftershave Balm was the, by Pacific, Caffeinated Aftershave Balm by Pacific Shaving Company. And it says the Aftershave that arouses. Really nice, I like this. I used my Steptic Pencil, <laughs> of course. My, I used every today. My own block to stop the bleeding is still bleeding a little bit. We'll take care of that. We'll put that on there. I may have to put tissues all over, wrap my neck in toilet paper or something. Uh, I used the uh, Steptic Pencil here, and I usually wipe it off. I don't put it in a container until it dries. The uh, brush I used was a Yaki 24 mil synthetic. It looked like a, almost like a synthetic brush. Or a, uh, not a synthetic, but a, a tuxedo, tuxedo brush. The razor I used was the uh, the Fine Marvel razor. This is the second time I've used that razor. I really like it. It's nice and heavy. And this is a box it comes in. And of course I use a feather blade, which uh, I would not recommend anybody using that combination unless you want to uh, bleed a little bit or you had a real coarse beard. So that should wrap it up. I've got a couple other videos up here. Like maybe I have three or four videos that you can uh, get some further information. Maybe I should have one on first aid on how to stop bleeding. <laughs> so thanks for stopping in and uh, we'll see you again. And uh, thanks a lot again for uh, looking at this razor. Have a great weekend.